So we are here today to create more torque or more power with our motors. I've just built a simple car here as if I had two motors facing the opposite direction to each other, facing outwards, making a car that goes uphill or a car that just needs more power, like a four wheel drive. And normally when you attach a wheel, it just spins whatever power that you've created on the code but we can actually make it spin slower and with more power by using cogs or gears. So, in this example, if we have a small cog turning a larger cog on a wheel, then your wheel will turn slower and it will actually have more power. It's similar to what you might have in like first gear in a car. You go a little slower, but you can go uphill better. You could use this sort of thing for cars, but you could also use it for things like winches or cranes. You could do it for any time that you need to have more power when speed is not important. So you can see now that this wheel has got more torque or more power because the little cog is turning the big cog and the little cog needs to turn lots of times for the big cog to do even one rotation. So it actually, creates more torque or more power. The big cog has to be on the wheel and that wheel needs to be not directly attached to the motor, doesn't it? You can put little bars or beams in the way so that it becomes a little more stabilized. I used a little yellow one here to help make it stronger. The golden rule with all this sort of work with cogs is that you have to make it stable and strong, as strong as you can. If it's not strong, sometimes your gears will grind. Uh, it's a good idea to try and use gravity like I have in this one. I've put the large cog underneath the motor so that gravity will help even hold it together. But if you use all the holes and the beams appropriately, it should work well. Here's another example with a slightly larger cog in the motor and a slightly smaller cog on the wheel. So you could use something like that if you didn't want it to go as slow, but you wanted to have a bit more power. It won't have as much power, but it might be like driving in second or third gear. I would try and utilize the awesome frames they have in Spike Prime kits. They seem to be spaced nicely for you to be able to use some gears. So here's a medium sized cog with a larger cog and the gaps in between with the holes seem to fit perfectly. So it's good to use frames because they are really stable and I've just put a beam across here to even hold those cogs in place. So you could use something like that where you've attached, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to work out how to attach the, um, the frame to the motor. It might be a bit of mucking around and you might have to change things up a bit, but this is just a little example of how you can get a frame to make the wheel turn a little slower but with a little more power. If you utilize the frames you can actually add some frames together if the holes aren't quite in the right spot. Sometimes I've joined several frames together and then eventually you'll end up with a hole in the right spot. It might not be directly under or on top of the cog you're using but that's okay. If you're using frames it's always nice and stable anyway. So. Here's another example of how you can use cogs to make the wheels turn slower and have more power. It's good to have beams holding things in place, isn't it? So you could attach that to your motorcycle. You're going to have to work out a way of making it nice and strong. And you'd have to do this to both sides, wouldn't you? You'd have to have cogs on both wheels to make both wheels turn at the same speed. So you'd have to make two identical constructions to make both the wheels turn and you can't really join them together okay you can't have both motors joined together because if you look at them sideways one actually turns clockwise and the other one turns anti-clockwise so you're going to have to for movement motors build a separate little mechanism for each motor and they need to be identical the more balanced and symmetrical you can make cars the better they go anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got lots of other videos to do with Spike Prime. If you haven't seen the one about making the wheels spin really fast, you should watch that one. Otherwise, check out some of these other videos.
please like and subscribe. Visit my website, robotman.com.au.